Hey everyone, I'm back again. You'll be pleased to know that my health has started improving quite a lot now. So recovery was really, really slow at first and I was ridiculously lethargic and I was only able to do the really, really essential tasks. So I was unable to like, do videos and things like that. But now, the past few days, I have been feeling a whole lot better. So I've had energy to do things. I've managed to go out to the shops and get some fresh food in. And I'm really, really proud of myself because I was able to book my appointment that I need to go see specialists and get my blood done. I was able to do that online. It seemed like I was going to have to travel quite a way to get my bloods done, which would be like two bus trips and it would take an hour and a half, something like that. And then because my blood pressure tends to drop when I get things like this done, I was having to coordinate with my boyfriend being off work so when we'd be able to actually go so that I wasn't coming home on my own. I had to go drop a sample off at doctors so I asked the receptionist there if there was anywhere closer and um, there actually is. There's a place that is just a short bus ride away so I'm going to look into rebooking that. The only problem with that is is I need to give them a quick call because I could book that a lot quicker and have it a lot sooner and go on my own if they have a liaison nurse to help me but I don't know if they do so I need to give them a ring find out if they've got a liaison nurse and find out if they do the numbing gel if they have both of those then I'll be able to go there which means not having to coordinate with my boyfriend which means I can go on my own which means I can go a lot sooner and I can just get it over and done with the freaking outness is gone for now. I know it's going to come back. I know that I'm going to freak out near the time. But for now, it's not happening. So therefore, in my head, it's not real. Therefore, I've got nothing to panic over. So right now, I'm feeling fine about it. But the day before, on the day, it will be a completely different story. If I'm up to it, I'll try filming it to show you exactly what I'm like and the difference in me to, to show what it can be like for autistic people. Still having some symptoms but it's manageable symptoms so my belly still keeps like churning every single time I eat food I am uncomfortable and I have to walk around I can't sit down after I've eaten I have to walk around for a bit because my stomach is just like flipping about my belly area is just flipping about I have to sort of gently walk around a little bit and can't sit down when I've eaten a meal but at least I'm eating meals now which is bonus because a couple of weeks back I wasn't eating meals because my appetite was going so low that I couldn't eat an actual full meal and wasn't eating three meals in a day either even though they were small. But there has been some potentially bad news for me personally because of this whole lockdown situation because we might be going into lockdown potentially for another six months means I am not going to be able to spend Christmas with my family. As I've mentioned before I live in a completely different county to all of my blood relatives, my mum, my dad, my brother, my sister, my nephews, they all live in Yorkshire and I live in Derbyshire and they live like right the other side of Yorkshire as well which is where I'm from. To get back there is two train rides for me. If there isn't any trains I'm not going to be able to get back for Christmas and also because of the whole bubble thing and having people in your bubble, I have my partner's family and kids in my bubble so that my partner can see kid, his kids and still spend time with me. Otherwise I wouldn't be able to see my partner whatsoever and I would be completely isolated from everybody. I wouldn't have contact with anybody. So because that's kind of like my social bubble at the moment means that then I can't add kind of another social bubble to that which means potentially not being able to see my family at Christmas. But I won't be alone at Christmas because I have my boyfriend's family and at least I can go there for Christmas. But it's still sad because I really would obviously prefer to see my own family at that time of year. But I haven't looked too much into what's going on at the moment so I don't know all of the details and I don't know if getting there, getting home is going to be doable for me. Fingers crossed 
that things might get a bit better and I might be able to at least go for Christmas. It's not looking likely at the moment, which is making me a bit down because that is something that I look forward to. But as you can tell, because obviously COVID and isolation and lockdown and all this is still happening, not a lot's going on at the moment. I'm just sort of getting by and getting through and I'm still applying for jobs but I'm a lot less hopeful because if places are going to start going into lockdown there's going to be a lot less jobs and I'm already limited in the type of jobs that I can actually do. So I'm going to try and do a lot more work on videos. So for now it's just me and the cat and seeing how life goes. So I hope you guys are all having a better time out there than I am at the moment and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.